What's up, Wastelanders? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great, and I hope you are too. It's me, Kiki B. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kiki B Plays Fallout 76. So a few months ago, we had our first community build challenge, and I had a ton of fun with it. I hope you all did as well. I was absolutely blown away by the amazing camps I got to tour. So now I've got another build challenge for you. I've taken all your feedback from the last challenge under careful consideration and picked out an awesome spot that I think you're really going to love. And also I'm relaxing the so-called rules this time, more like guidelines anyway, to give you more flexibility and freedom in your build. You have until March 13th to get your builds done, and then you can get in touch with me on Discord or Instagram to either send me a video, or if you're on PC or PlayStation, I'm happy to come and film a little tour myself. Before we get into the specifics, if you love what I do here and you're interested in supporting the channel, you can join our Patreon family or become a channel member right here on YouTube. Head on over to patreon.com slash kikibee or click on that join button right below this video to find out more. Of course, subscribing and turning on channel notifications really helps me out and is completely free. Maybe even give me a like and a comment while you're here. And don't forget to join us on the Happy Camper Discord, on Instagram, and on Twitch. We would love to see you there. Now, without further ado, let's go look at this amazing camp location. So for this one, we're going over to the Cranberry Bog, right between the Veiled Sundew Grove and the Cranberry Glade. Now, I don't build in the bog a lot because of all the screech beasts and annoying ditches everywhere and all that crap, but this spot has none of those things, and that's part of what makes it so good. So fast travel to the grove and turn to the east, and you'll see it right there in front of you. You can't miss it. Yes, we're going to be building at this monorail thingy. A few mole rats usually spawn at the base when you get there, so maybe you want a turret somewhere to deal with those. But anyway... We've got a nice flat area all around. It's none of those stupid ditches all through the ground like you've got all over the rest of the bog. Stairs running all the way up and this very lovely monorail car at the top, which is one of the nicest and most accessible monorail cars in the game. Now, I know with the last challenge, there were quite a few people who were less than fond of having to build a specific structure in their camp, so I'm not asking you to do that this time. The only rules this time are that you build in this spot and that you include the monorail car in it in some way. That could mean just about anything, whether it's building on the ground and decorating the car a little, or building your entire camp up on top of the car, or really whatever your shriveled, blackened little heart desires. Now, you may be wondering, how am I going to build that high? Well, that part's actually really easy. As we've discussed before, when we built our amazing lookout tower, the build height of your camp is determined by the height at which you initially place the camp down. So if you can place your module high enough, you can actually get about eight stories of build height, which is really awesome. And fortunately, it's really easy to do that here, and they even made us a special spot to place our camps, so it's perfectly centered on the tower and maximizes our build height. If you stick your camp right in this little hole in the pillar, it will allow you to build from the ground level all the way up to just on top of the car. If you're having trouble getting it in there, just use the bumpers or whatever the equivalent is on PC, sorry, I have no idea, to pull the camp towards you first, and then turn and place it down. Of course, you can always place it on the stairs if you like, or use a glitched rug to put it more to one side of the tower, or whatever you want, really. This is just a suggestion. Nobody's going to tell you what to do. Anyway, there's your new camp spot. I just want to make it clear, too, before you go off and build, that it's not a competition. It's not about who has the best skills, or the most atomic shop stuff, or knows the weirdest tricks. This is just meant to hopefully inspire you to build or get you out of your comfort zone, or maybe help you out of a building slump if you're in one. I know I was for a while there. So have fun with it. My goal with all my videos is just to help you enjoy the game more in whatever weird way I'm able to do that and not to stress you out. So get out there and build something that you enjoy. And if you want me to show off your camp in the community showcase at the end of the challenge, hit me up on Discord or Instagram to send me a video or get me to come and record one for you on PC or PlayStation. And in keeping with the spirit of it not being a contest, I will make every effort to show every camp at the end, because you all deserve it, and I love you all to bits. So that's it for me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll be joining in the challenge. Don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed and you've turned on those channel notifications so you don't miss out on the next absolutely amazing video. If you love what I do and you're interested in supporting that, check out that Patreon link or click the Join button right below this video. Of course, join us over on Discord, Instagram, and Twitch. We would love to see you there. And with that, folks, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.